Uh, something's supposed to be happening here? Fun. This furry little creature is full of anger. Yeah, because Quill's a prick who only cares about but him. beneath that, he is unfathomably sad. Hey! Now he is scared and angry. Hey, cut it out! What is this, Quill? What's the bug lady doing to me? Mantis is an empath, Rocket. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? I am Groot. She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? And could that one also be me? Oh, I can explain. <sighs> Through table dance? Long ago... Wait, the... wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like... Now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Peter Quill. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago. The Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, boy, lightly. Boy, 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 boy. So I was brought in to ensure that the Forge was only wielded by someone deserving and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited. And waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Kree decided that no culture had matured enough to use the forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the forge and I were separated, locked away until the time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well, thanks a lot for that, Pete. You're welcome. <laughs> hmm, what an interesting and relevant story. Aren't you glad we heard it all, champ? Someday, Quill, I'm gonna blast you out an airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important part. Kill me. <laughs> there is a legend of the Celestial One. The Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One. What are they like? Advanced intellect. Emotionally mature, wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires to choose for the greater good. Well, that certainly ain't Quill. I seen him lose his gun in a toilet twice in the same day. <laughs> that was such a horrific mess. Don't remind me. The Celestial One is not perfect. But it is Peter. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this celestial what's-it, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. Careful. The forge is... limited right now can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and undeteriorated. <sighs> I am Groot. Ah, well, that explains Hala's delightful corpse collection. She'll bring them all back if she gets the forge. Fantastic! So it's incredibly useful to our worst enemy, but useless to us. It can be made more useful. How? The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Neat. Lost ones, 
loved ones. I suppose hated ones, too. If you were so inclined. You can bring back anyone? Like, anyone at all? Anyone who ever existed can be brought back, so long as you have the required energy, of course. One life for one life. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. I Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, you mistranslated Groot. On purpose. Uh -huh. How long have you been doing this? I just slipped up. <laughs> this was a one-time thing. I am Groot. Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie, then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. Wow. Uh, okay, this is, uh, <laughs> there's a lot to process here. Kind of heavy on the responsibility, you know? It's, let me think on it. <laughs> Well, one way or another, this all ends at the Shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. Hmm. You have... Extraordinarily soft hands. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> was there moisturizer built into that tomb thingy? There was not. <laughs> oh. Really? Huh. Well, I guess it's because, uh... Please, stop talking. Okay. Yep, yeah, not talking. It's worth a shot. <sighs> I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Oh, it's time to talk to the gang, huh? Alrighty. Talk to the guardians to clear the emotional noise. Let's talk with Groot first. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Oh, he just needed someone to uh, chat with him. Now comes the real fun. Hey, bud. What's up? Well, if it ain't Captain Indecision. What? Are you... I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. I mean, I, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back someone they love. I am Groot. And what happens if Hala gets a hold of it, huh? This falls into the wrong hands, the whole galaxy is screwed. The whole galaxy is already screwed. It's always screwed. You think if we destroy this thing, that'll make a difference? Ah, the only ones you're screwing are your so-called friends. Rocket. You know what, Pete? I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. This should have brought someone else. Oh, no. Anyone else back instead. Better than your worthless hide. Lila would be ashamed of you right now. You saw one damn memory of her. And you're talking like you knew her? Go to hell, Pete. Only this time, don't come back. I am Groot. You can both go to hell. He's out. Well, that's one way to clear his emotional unrest. I am 
Groot. Sorry, Groot. <laughs> Thumbs up. Calm down. Well, maybe we can. Really, just tell me to calm down. Drax, how are you doing? I was angry that you did not allow me to guard Nebula. But that. <sighs> but now, I am hopeful. The Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that. Rocket was clearly angered by what that woman said about his emotions. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. Yeah. Okay. I probably shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry. It, bad taste on my part. I am glad you are so apologetic. Though I do not understand how your mistake could taste badly. Her ability to see into our emotions. It must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. I feel bad that we keep on getting on Rocket's bad side, though. Oh, there's a bartender here. Oh, Lord. Fine. Fine. Escal Fine. Escalation. Are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while, ugh, she won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. Uh, I know we're kind of giving mixed signals here, but so don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know, I'm really trying. But I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe, maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again when she's calmed down. It's the whole Get knife in the back space thing. Without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? I have no idea. But they are a powerful Maybe group. Maybe I can get her to hang around. Just... Maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. Now for the tough part. Let's see what Nebula has to say. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's the cursor. Never mind. I'm a genius. Um. Hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey. It's me. <laughs> Peter Quill. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really... How's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Hmm. Oh, man. You were awesome. And you only had one arm. It's true. Well, yeah. Nice to know someone appreciates my skills. Gamora never could. Speaking of my dear sister... Bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh yeah? What did you see? Hmm. 
I saw you stab her and leave her to die. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. That's fair. Then show me. We get to see the other part of the puzzle. Now, please take my hand. And please don't stab my friend. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. She can even do it through uh, cybernetics, which is interesting. Is everything all right? What's going on? Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Oh, we get to have the conversation. Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. Silence. You should be proud to defeat an enemy of such caliber. There is something you must know about Gamora. She has told me that she does not believe you are ready for this mission. That you never will be. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I know she's been difficult, but... Gamora won't fail you, father. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Where she fails, you thrive. It won't come to that, father. I'm not so certain. We shall see how things go on Phalian. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Look at that hand just around her throat. Oh, personal shield. What is this thing with the Kree and their awesome weapons? Hammers, maces, spears. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Okay, whoop. Just in time for Gamora to come in to do the strike. Outstanding. Nebula! Nebula, are you alright? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! You distracted him. I killed him. We did this together. But Father- Thanos can complain about who did what all he wants. I don't care. Nebula. Father. Dad heard us. You were wrong. It has come to this after all. I am done with her insolence. If you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. 
Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you? Probably stabbed her in a non-vital organ. Maybe. Let's see what happens here. Is it done? What's going on? Oh, this is going to be awkward. What are you making him see? It wasn't over. She showed me your last mission together. I tried to show him what really happened with Tarval, but you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. But you naturally assumed the worst. What do you expect after everything that's happened? Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own back. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin Gamora, I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Hmm. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. It's true, Gamora. I saved your Admit life! Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me by killing if me. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know? I even checked your pulse just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did. That doesn't make any sense. I'm kind of believing her here, Gamora. If she hadn't fake killed you, I'm... pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. It's possible. I don't know what to believe. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. Oh, so you finally agree with me about something. What a surprise! I'm just as surprised as you. I figured you'd disagree with me just because that's what you do. Well, I'm not used to you saying anything I'd ever Maybe agree you with. just aren't listening. Guys! Guys! Stop! You both want the same thing! So shut it. He's... actually right. It happens. Sometimes. Uh, more than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could... give each other a chance? All right. Now hug. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay. Let's go. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that wasn't a good smile at all. <laughs> 